Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get started with Kilo Code CLI. So just recently, Kilo Code released a new tool for people who love to run things from the command line. The Kilo Code CLI is an agentic terminal tool that can help you plan, code, and debug your code base. It also enables you to orchestrate multiple agents all directly from the terminal. The CLI uses the same underlying technology that powers the IDE extensions, so you can expect it to be able to handle the same agentic workflow and coding tasks from start to finish. Basically, the tool enables you to make code changes directly in the terminal using different personality with killer code modes, and then use any cutting edge model from many providers just like in the extension. You can also automate workflows such as using GitHub Actions to automatically create issues and pull requests in GitHub, and then many cool features from Killer Code can now be used on your local terminal or in server environment for full automated workflow. Next, let me show you how to get started with Killer Code CLI. Now, before we jump into the exciting part, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss new videos that can really help you level up your skills. Also, don't forget to click on the bell to get notified whenever a new video comes out. Thanks a lot for supporting the channel, you really help me make useful videos just like this one. So to get started, you need to have Node.js installed on your computer, and if you didn't have it already, you can go to nodejs.org and install it for free. Next, you simply need to install Killer Code CLI using the npm install command as shown here. I will leave the link to this in the description as well. Open your terminal, paste the command, and then press enter. It will take a few seconds to install the tool. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and run the tool using the Kilo Code command. When you run it for the first time, there is a short setup that you have to do, such as selecting the API provider here. Uh, let me show you real quick. So in VS Code extension here, I have two provider profiles. One is for Kilo Code, and the other is for GLM from ZAI. That's why in my terminal setup here, we can see the two providers. If you only have one, then this step might be skipped. But for now, I will select Kilo Code. And then after that, you need to enter your Kilo Code API key, which you can get from the Kilo Code website. So just head over there. And then if you scroll to the bottom, you will see the Kilo Code token here. You can just click the copy icon over here to copy it. And then go back to the terminal, paste the key, and then press enter. With that, Kilo Code CLI is now active, and we can see the logo at the top here, and you can start using it right away. You can start sending prompts to the CLI now, and to configure it, you can use the slash commands. So if we type slash here, we can see all the commands available in the tool. So first, we can change the model we are using with Kilo Code CLI by running the slash model command. Here, we can see the current model detail, and then there are extra commands to show model information, change the selected model, and list the models. First, let's run the slash model list command. Now, if you're using Killer Code Provider, the listed models will be too many. Uh, there are almost 300 models listed here. So if you want to narrow it down, you can put filter text next to the command. For example, let's say you want to use the minimax model like this. Press enter, and this time only the minimax models are displayed on the screen. Now, if you want to use the minimax M2 model, which at the time of this recording has a free tier, then you can just copy the name over here, and then run the model select command, followed by the model name, uh, so paste it in. Press enter, and now the model is changed to the minimax M2 free tier, as we can see on the bottom right corner here. Next, you can also change the active mode by running the slash mode command here. Now we can already see the five default modes of killer code. So if you want to use maybe architect mode here, then just type slash mode and then architect and then press enter. And we can see now we're on the architect mode, but let's switch back to code mode as we're only going to try that mode. Now, there are some features that are not yet available in the CLI, such as the custom modes and workflows. So if I open my project here, notice that I have this .kilocodemodes YAML file with a custom mode for this project. In the .kilocode folder, I also have the workflows folder here, as well as the mcp.json file. Now, from Killer Code extension, I can select the custom mode, as well as selecting the workflow with slash command without any issue. 
But if I go to the terminal here and try to run the workflow, the custom slash commands aren't supported as we can see here. And then the custom modes are also not available yet as only killer code default modes are here. Now the CLI also doesn't show a command to list MCP yet, but it already supports running MCP. So in this project, I have time and contact 7 MCP installed. And if I ask killer code CLI to get the latest documentation of Tailwind from contact 7, we can see here that the agent can use MCP tools fetching the documentation from contact 7. After a while, it will show the response from contact 7 and then it provides a quick summary of the documentation itself. So yeah, some features are still missing as the CLI tool is still new, but I'm sure the team will work it out soon. Alright, now that we know how to set up Kilo code, we can start instructing it to work on a code base. First, I want to clear this context and start a new session, so run the slash new command. And after that, let's run a quick example. Uh, let me open the project in VS Code first. So here, I have a React Starter application generated using V. We can also open the app in the browser, but there is nothing interesting here, just the starter page. So we're going to code something in this app. Uh, back in the terminal, I will ask Killer Code CLI to build a node organizer app where users can create nodes and organize their knowledge by certain attributes such as tags, date created, or title. Here, I tell the AI what data to save as well as the nodes format, the organization, search and sort capabilities, the UI design, the layout, as well as the initial setup. Okay, so run the prompt here and Killer Code CLI will process the request. Here we can see the AI reasoning process as it breaks down the requirements and look at the files in the current workspace. After a while, it will create a to-do list, just like in the extension, and then proceed to tackle the tasks one by one. So here it begins to edit the JSX file over here, and if we go back to VS Code, scroll down on app.jsx file, we can see that Killer Code CLI is editing the file. This will take a bit of time, so I will skip a bit to when it's completed. Alright, here Killer Code CLI has completed the request and we can see a short summary written on the terminal. Let's open the app on the browser and here's the node organizer, uh, but it seems the layout is not taking advantage of the available screen size and there are no example nodes here uh, where there should be. Hmm, it must be the CSS here. It seems the minimax model get the styling rules a bit wrong. And then for the nodes, it must be in app.jsx file. Hmm, I'm certain that something is wrong here, uh, but we're not going to debug it yet. Instead, let's just test the app and see if it can work. So back in the browser, uh, let's add a node here. Say, explore the code CLI and then write in some description. And then add text here. Now hit create. Okay, it seems to work, so let's edit this note next. I will change the title a bit, click update. Okay, it works too. Now let's add more text to it. And it also works, uh, so let's add another note here. Maybe buy some eggs, add some detail, and then save. Okay, the notes can be added just fine. And uh, now we can also search the notes. Yep, now filter by text and then delete. So everything seems to be working except for the example nodes that are not displayed as well as the CSS needs a little fixing. But yeah, this is not exactly the killer code CLI problem. I guess this is because I'm using the Minimax free version. Uh, maybe it's less capable. I have never tested Minimax before, uh, so this is my first time using it. But for now, uh, let's move on and I want to show you one more cool feature from Kiliko CLI, which is the parallel agents. So aside from bringing a Jantic coder to the terminal, KiloCode CLI can also run multiple agents at the same time. When you activate this mode, KiloCode agents will work in parallel on the same project without bumping into each other's work. You can spawn as many KiloCode agents as you need, and once finished, the changes will be committed to separate branches. You can pair this parallel agent with the autonomous mode, which is just like the auto-approve. This way, KiloCode can run without requiring your approval. Let's see it in action. So first, let's exit the active CLI session. And then here, I will write a command for creating a parallel agent to fix the CSS width in desktop size. And then I will open the same project in another terminal window. And here, I will ask it to add the ability to add color to nodes uh, such as light green, light blue, and light red. Next, press enter to run this agent. 
And we can see here, killer code creates a new git branch and then run the agent on that branch. Let's do the same on the first window. So press enter here. And look, killer code also created a new branch over here and the agent is running over there. By using parallel mode, you can run many killer code agents to work on separate tasks. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. And here, the agent has finished the task, so all changes are committed to this specific branch. The same also happens with the other agent over here. And if we go back to VS Code and then run git branch-v, we can see the branches created by the parallel agents. So yeah, that's basically it for the killer code CLI. Overall, it's a handy tool for interacting with coding agents right from your terminal, and you can even run multiple agents at once, with each agent running on their own branch. If you want to dive deeper, you can check out the documentation, I will leave a link in the description below. It's not as feature rich as the VS Code or JetBrains extension just yet, but it's already a solid and capable tool for what it does. And with every update, it will just get better. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now you know how to use Kilo Code CLI to bring the power of Kilo Code to your command line or terminal. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments below. I'll join the conversation and reply as often as I can. Also, if you're new to the channel, my name is Nathan and I hope you'll learn how to code and use AI tools. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find useful. Don't forget to like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it really helps the channel to grow. With that being said, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!